Inflammation is the natural process of our body against infection and injury involving main inflammatory pathways to help the tissue defend against the infection and to repair from the injury. Let's look at the main pathways. The main pathways are arachidonic acid pathway or eicosanoid pathways, then the JAK-STAT pathway, then MAP kinase pathway and nuclear factor kappa B pathway. Arachidonic acid pathway. So this pathway is actually a metabolite of omega-6 molecule. Omega-6 from the cell membrane is harvested by phospholipase A2 enzyme and it is converted, omega-6 is converted to arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is then acted on by cyclooxygenases, lipooxygenases and CYP450 molecules and produce a number of further molecules that are predominantly pro-inflammatory. For example, thromboxane A2, prostaglandins, prostacycline, etc. So this, once again, a powerful pro-inflammatory pathway called the arachidonic acid pathway, and its beginning is with omega-6. The JAK-STAT pathway, or Janus kinase signal transducer and activator of transcription, or JAK-STAT, this pathway is crucial for inflammation that is produced by the induction or by the messaging of cytokines and growth factors on a cell surface. The MAPK pathway or the mitogen activated protein kinase pathway, it helps with the gene expression, cell growth and inflammation by translating or transmitting the signals arriving at the cell surface to the nucleus. Nuclear factor kappa B or nuclear factor kappa light chain enhancer of activated B cell or NFK kappa B, this factor is one of the primary pathways and a key pathway in inflammation. This pathway can be triggered by infections and many other kind of inflammatory signals. And what it does is it takes part or it regulates gene transcription for immune responses and for inflammation, cell growth, apoptosis, and immune response in general. A key pathway and a very important pathway to modulate when a patient is suffering from inflammation. So how about this? If I give you two or three substances or supplements over the counter that can help modulate these four pathways. So first of all, let's start with the arachidonic acid pathway or omega-6 pathway. Of course, the answer is omega-3, more omega-3 and less omega-6. Omega-3 not only competes with the omega-6 pathways with the, at the enzyme level and reduce the effect of arachidonic acid by suppressing the arachidonic acid conversions, Omega-3 itself also leads to production of anti-inflammatory molecules. So fish oil or omega-3, whichever way is the right for you, supplementation is very useful for modulating arachidonic acid pathway. JAK-STAT pathway. So curcumin found in turmeric and resveratrol found in grapes and berries are key over-the-counter or key supplements and foods that can help modulate JAK-STAT pathway and help reduce inflammation. MAP-K pathways. Green tea rich in EGCG and omega-3 from the fish oil or other sources. These two substances can help modulate MAPK pathway, reducing the inflammatory cytokine production. Nuclear factor kappa B pathway, you will be amazed to hear that curcumin, curcumin and resveratrol can actually help modulate the nuclear factor kappa B pathway to reduce the production of inflammatory cytokines. So in summary, omega-3, curcumin, resveratrol and green tea EGCG can actually, these four can actually modulate all four key inflammatory pathways and help with the other pain management methods that you are applying. With this, thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe and share and if you like this quick video, let me know and I will make more of these kind. Bye for now.